Have you ever wondered how people pay for groceries, vending machines, and gas without cash? Millions of credit and debit cards are swiped every day. In fact, in 2016, total card payments totaled a whopping value of $5.98 trillion. On the back of a credit card, there's a black strip called a mag stripe. This is made up of ferromagnetic material that is laminated onto the card. Looking closer, there are tiny magnets, 20 millionths of an inch in size, which are all oriented in specific directions that carry personal information. To read this information, the credit card is swiped through a card reader. The card reader is made up of a solenoid, which is a cylindrical coil of wire, like a slinky. When a current passes through the wire of the solenoid, it creates a magnetic field. As the credit card is swiped, it causes a change in magnetic flux. Don't worry, we're going to break this down. Current is the flow of electric charge. Magnets create a magnetic field that form loops through the north and south ends. Magnetic flux is defined as B times A, or the amount of magnetic field through a closed loop with area A. Flux changes if either the magnetic field or area of the loop changes. faraday lenz law explains that a change in magnetic flux, i.e. the card being swiped through the card reader, induces a change in voltage. Voltage is the change of potential energy in a circuit. In this case, a light bulb is connected to a battery which supplies 10 volts. There's a drop of 10 volts that supplies energy to the light bulb, which lights up. This represents the change of potential energy. Now using Ohm's law, I equals E over R, or current equals voltage over resistance, tells us that a current is induced through the wire of the solenoid in the card reader as the voltage increases. As each tiny magnet moves through the reader, the magnetic flux changes, changing the voltage and the direction of the induced current. A program in the card reader processes the changes in current and translates it into readable information. This then allows or denies the transaction. Next time you go to swipe a card and make a purchase or even just open a door, impress someone by telling them the electromagnetism steps behind it.